What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Wednesday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all of my socials at Sports Talk Matt, and I am doing something that's rather unique. Four bets, two wins, two losses, no juice paid. We'll take that. Another one in one day, the Paul Skeens led Pirates lose 2 1. Ouch. Under was the play there. But we got the other bet right as we came with the over with the Marlins and the Orioles. That bet cashed in the fifth inning. So the plus 120 play goes down. The minus 110 bet comes in. No harm, no foul. Just like yesterday. One and one. No win, no loss to show for it. So let's see how long I can do this. You know, it's a dog days of summer. Let's see if we can keep going. Two bets for you guys coming up here, although no plus money. So if I go one and one again, I'll be down a little juice on the day. But let's see. Two games I like, two games that I have bet. But before we give you the picks and the plays, let me tell you about the autographed Julio Rodriguez jersey that we are giving away with betting pros. If you want your chance to score this gorgeous signed Julio Rodriguez jersey for free, This is all being brought to you courtesy of our friends at pristineauction.com. All you need to do is head to the bettingpros.com slash contest website, complete the form, and either download the Betting Pros app, leave a review for the Betting Pros podcast, any of our podcasts, Daily Juice included, or subscribe to a social media channel like at Betting Pros on Twitter X and TikTok or at Betting Pros NFL on Instagram. The more actions you complete, the more entries you will receive. We will be announcing a winner here on the Daily Juice coming up later this month. So make sure to turn in those or turn on those notifications so you can be alerted when a new episode has dropped and you can go in there and claim your prize, which is an autograph signed, beautiful Julio Rodriguez Mariners jersey, which will be signed. It will be signed for you. Thanks to our friends at pristineauction.com. Okay. Kind of a redundant day from betting-wise. Martin Perez goes for the Pirates. They are back at home against the Cardinals. Marine, uh, Martin Perez is splits at home. No good. 4.87 ERA, 0-2 record, an opposing batting average of 309. Five home runs in 40 and two-third innings worth of work and 22 earned runs given up for Martin Perez. In his last start, Martin Perez gave up six earned runs at home to the Phillies in an 8-7 win. He was That was the come-from-behind win. We were on the Phillies in that game. But three, two, uh, three and two-thirds innings worth of work, six earned runs given up. And in the bullpen, everything went south until... The Pirate bullpen bullpen played better, and the Philadelphia bullpen threw up all over themselves, and they won the game 8-7. to He got racked against Milwaukee on the road in a 9-0 loss to the Brewers, 4-2 thirds, five earned runs in a home run given up in that game. Lost 3-2 to St. Louis back on the 4th of July. That game went to extra innings. He went 7 and a third, gave up one earned run. Now the Pirates are taking on... The Cardinals, it's a rubber match here. It's an early start for this game. Both teams have won one game apiece. And the Cardinals, even though it is an early 135 Eastern or 1235 Eastern time start, 1 o'clock basically, Matthew Libatore is going. True definition of an opener. This guy's going to go for three outs and then be done. He has been okay, but really it doesn't matter because he's not a true starter. Doesn't eat up a ton of innings. Uh, you know, he lost 8-3 to the Cubs in his last start. No fault of his. He pitched one out, one-third of an, of an inning. He pitched one out, got the batter out, struck him out, actually. But then he beat the Cubs 11-3. to He went the first inning there. He went 1.2 innings against the KC Royals. He went 2.1 against the Washington Nationals. He's an over machine when he is pitching. I'm going over eight and a half. Martin Perez is not good at home. Libertore for the Cardinals is just a spot starter. Give him up there. Let him throw. I think that spell is disaster here. Over eight and a half for the Cardinals and the Pirates for 1.1 units. Second bet and the final bet. Edward Cabrera goes to the bump for the Marlins up against the Orioles. He's one in three with a 7.36 ERA. Last time out, one earned run in four and two third innings worth of work. Before that, against the Reds on the road, he lost 
10 6. He gave up seven earned runs and four home runs in that game in a three and one third innings worth of work in a 10 6 loss against the White Sox on the 7th of July. He won the game seven to four, four, uh, three point uh, three and two thirds innings worth of work, two earned runs, one home run given up for Eduardo Cabrera. Now, on the other side, if you go and look at pitching wise, look, uh, Perez is going to be facing off against a rookie. The Orioles are throwing a rookie named Chase. Uh, let me see, make sure I'm saying his name right. Chase McDermott making his major league debut at AAA Norfolk. He was uh, 20 games, a 3.96 ERA across 91 innings in AAA. He's 25, 76 hits, 40 earned runs, 129 batters, Cade, 54 walks. I mean, Okay, let's see what this kid can do, but I'm betting the over. Over eight, Marlins and the Orioles, same bet as yesterday, minus 112. We're going over eight for the Baltimore Orioles and the Miami Marlins. Two bets for us here on a Wednesday. I don't have many other leans, to be quite honest. I gave you a couple of leans last for the last couple of days. I'm not really positive, but two and two. Let's see if we can go two and oh. Start picking up some momentum here as we head towards the weekend. But we're going over eight and a half for the Pirates and over eight for the Miami Marlins here on a Wednesday. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every morning. Daily Juice Podcast, always being brought to you by bettingpros.com.